Who is Alex Trebek? Since 1984, he's been hosting the insanely popular quiz show, Jeopardy. And, well, he's not always such a nice guy, as he's occasionally proved through controversial off-the-cuff remarks. With that in mind, let's look at some of Trebek's most dastardly on-screen deeds. Over the course of his decades-long career, Alex Trebek hasn't given a single Jeopardy! contestant a wedgie, but he appeared to come awfully close in one February 2018 episode. The host rather mercilessly teased all three contestants, including multi-day champ Ryan Fenster, for their complete and utter lack of knowledge of football. None of them even attempted to make a single guess in the category. After the first clue, Trebek jeered. I can tell you guys are big football fans. Yeah, yeah. After another clue was met with more blank stares, Trebek sniped. Uh, do you think we should go to commercial? <laughs> As the contestants fumbled a few more times, the host quipped, Let's look at the uh, $1,000 clue, just for the fun of it. By the end, Trebek's derision reached its apex. If you guys <laughs> ring in and get this one, I will die. <laughs> How would you fare with this final Jeopardy clue? In a hint of the future, in 1973, Marjorie Post gave it to the U.S. government as a warm-weather presidential retreat, but it was returned. If you just shouted, what is Mar-a-Lago, congrats, that's the correct answer, and you'd probably be a decent Jeopardy competitor. Also, you might have fared better than Jeopardy champ Eric Agard, who appeared on the show in October 2018 and didn't have the foggiest idea what to write down for this clue. In lieu of hazarding a guess, he jotted down a smart-alecky meme instead. What did you do, baby? Well, I'm responding incorrectly, and I'm going to lose $1,000. Despite the wrong answer or non-answer, Agard had a big enough lead to still win the game while also demonstrating that he was a rather spicy meme lord. Jeopardy! contestant Kara Speck offered a delightfully awkward response to the following clue in the group countdown category. If Andy yearns for Brenda and Brenda cares about Charlene, who pines for Andy, the three of them form one of these. You don't have to be a professional lovemaker to know the answer to that one, but Speck apparently choked in the heat of the moment. What is that, threesome? Mm, no. <laughs> The correct response, of course, is, what is a love triangle? Following Speck's response, Trebek deadpanned, Kara has obviously had much more experience <laughs> than I. Speck later recalled how Trebek also called her a saucy wench during a commercial break, and in her next game, he referenced the moment yet again. Well, you have met our threesome for this second semi-final match. Word to the wise, think twice before speaking dismissively of Big Bird when Alex Trebek is within earshot. Lisa Mueller learned that the hard way. During the contestant chit-chat segment in a March 2018 episode, Mueller told Trebek how she used to obsessively write to her heroes in her youth. I love Big Bird. I, I wrote uh, to them and I said, my, favorite color, my third favorite color is yellow, just like you are. Um, just, I guess it's kind of a backhanded compliment. Mueller continued on with her tale and Trebek had quite the response for her. I didn't actually have bunnies, but I just wanted to draw some bunnies. You get the feeling that our current champion is a little weird? When Mueller's jaw dropped, it didn't escape Trebek's attention. Oh, give me, yeah, give me the look. <laughs> you disrespected Big Bird. <laughs> You're lucky to be here. In a July 2012 episode, Laura Sykes Jambon, a graduate student from Rochester, New York, definitely didn't encounter the nice version of Alex Trebek. During the contestant chit-chat, she told Trebek about a pygmy goat named Billy she used to own for the cuteness factor. Alas, Billy wasn't long for this cruel world. Aside from occasionally munching on yummy cat fur, Billy apparently enjoyed eating a lot of other things, too. Jambon listed items like a three-wick candle, an entire bag of Hershey's Kisses, and a bag of concrete mix, the latter of which led to his demise. Trebek's response to the story Story wasn't exactly the most graceful. Wait, wait a minute, was it a 60 pound or an 80 pound bag? Because. Alex, you're being insensitive. <laughs> and then Trebek totally blew off returning champ AJ. AJ, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs>